Hello everybody. So recently a lot of people have been worried about flyaways with their uh, DJI Mavic Mini. So this video is going to explain why it happens, but more importantly, how to stop it happening to you. Okay guys, now the first thing I'm going to start off by saying is I think these are really rare occurrences. This personally has never happened to me and I don't know if anyone it's happened to, so I wouldn't get too worried about it. But it does occasionally happen and we're going to look at the reasons why this might happen now. Now the first thing we need to do to prevent the flyaway is to set our home point correctly. So to do this we need to get our remote and if we look on our phone, uh, just here in the top right hand corner, you'll see a little satellite here, to me it looks a bit like an aeroplane. And um, this is how many satellites are picking us up. Now we need at least four bars in the GPS signal icon and this will make sure that the uh, satellites have picked us up properly and knows we're in the right location. Once this has picked you up it will automatically set the home point and a green icon will appear on screen. So obviously if the drone has got the wrong information about where it is, when it tries coming back to the home point, it's going to go in the complete wrong direction. Now the second point is to make sure the compass is calibrated properly on the drone. Now to do this it's really easy, you just uh, press the menu button in the top right hand corner of your phone, go down to safety, we scroll down to sensors, from there we can calibrate the IMU normal and we can also calibrate the compass. Now it's really important to make sure the compass is calibrated properly because if the drone doesn't know which way around it's facing it's going to be really difficult for it to find its way home. Now when you do this it's also important to make sure there's no metal objects around or anything that carries an electrical charge because this will affect the compass's calibration. But don't worry the DJI app will inform you if the compass interference is too great. Just make sure you don't ignore it. All you need to do then is find somewhere else to calibrate it and you should be ready to go. Now it's also worth pointing out at this point that I did hear a story of a man calibrating his drone on his concrete driveway outside and then when he took it off into the air to hover it above his house for the first time it just shot off full speed and it crashed about three minutes later and it wasn't in good condition and he couldn't fly it again. Now the reason this happened is because the concrete on his driveway was reinforced with steel and this interfered with the compass on his drone. Now when he took it off into the sky, after about a minute or so the satellites picked it up and it tried to make micro adjustments in the drone to put it in the correct position. Now where the compass was wrong when it was making the micro adjustments, it shot off at full speed in the wrong direction. So just be aware of what might be around you. Uh, you can get uh, metal drain pipes underground, reinforced concrete. Now where you'll be flying it due to most laws, there'll probably be nothing that bad around, but it's always something to be aware of and it's always worth checking to make sure there is nothing that can interfere with your drone. So I'm going to be flying my drone in Costa Rica in a few weeks, I'm going to be flying around the beaches and in the jungle, so there shouldn't be anything with a huge magnetic interference around there. I will be doing a video on how easy it is to travel with the Mavic Mini. If you're interested in this, uh, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon and you'll know exactly when this comes out. So the first two points are really important and will make sure your drone doesn't just fly off. But the next three points are also a really good idea to make sure you keep your drone safe. So the third point is to make sure you have a line of sight of your drone at all times. So this is a legal requirement in most countries and it may sound a bit boring me saying this but obviously if you can see where your drone is going you're going to make sure it can come back to you safely and you're going to make sure there's no obstacles in the way. The DJI Mavic Mini doesn't actually have any uh, obstacle avoidance sensors so it's really important you can see where it is and make sure there's no obstacles in the way. Point four is to reset the home point location if you're moving around. So obviously if you start take off and you start flying and then you move somewhere else, uh, the home point is going to be where you took off from, not where you currently are. So all you need to do to reset your home point is press the menu settings in the top right hand corner of the phone, then go to safety and then scroll down a little bit to where it says update home point and press that button and your home point will be updated. So when you want to call the drone back, it'll come back to where you are. Now point five is to make sure you have the right return to home altitude set on your phone. To do this, again just go back up to the menu in the right hand corner, go to safety and where it says auto RTH altitude, set that to appropriate height. Now it will change depending on where you are, 
Obviously, if you're somewhere it's really windy, if you put that up too high, it's going to be your drone is going to struggle trying to fly back to you. And if you put it too low, you may hit obstacles. So just be aware of what's around you and try to set it to the lowest possible height without it having any obstacles in the way. Okay guys, so that just about sums everything up. It's also worth pointing out, it's probably worth doing a, just a pre-flight check just to make sure your drone's in good condition. For example, the propellers aren't broken because obviously if a propellant breaks when you're in the air, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. So I hope you found this useful. If it has been, uh, hitting the like button or commenting down below really does help support the channel. And if you do have any questions, again, please feel free to post them in the comment section down below. And I hope to see you in the next one.